Ah, there you are. Good Friday morning, everybody. Welcome to the breakfast edition of News Channel 3's Daybreak version of Weather Overtime, our online exclusive video weather blog, helping you keep up to date on what's going on with the weather across the Mid-South as we go into the weekend. Could be the possibility of some heavy rainfall moving our direction, so the National Weather Service is considering the possibility of flash flood watches across the Mid-South. As of this recording time, just after 8 o'clock Friday morning, nothing has been issued by the National Weather Service, so definitely good news on that for now. Likewise, no heat advisories to worry about for today either, so also good news, but still going to be pretty hot out there today. We'll have a look at your complete forecast coming up in just a little bit. Plus, we'll take a look at earthquake activity in the Mid-South, we'll take a look at some of the webcams from across the area on the various weather social media networks and of course take a look into what you can expect for the weekend forecast available online and on air. Temperatures and forecast information in the red bar down at the bottom of your screen. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, stuff you would like to see on here for anything involving different types of weather. This is your video weather blog so whatever you want to see on here that we can fit and that will again be something that will tie in to the weather for the Mid-South area. Please let me know. Austin on at WREG.com and then we'll try to get that on there for you. Let's take a look and see what's going on across the Mid-South. High temperature yesterday, 95 degrees in the Memphis metro area for Thursday. Likewise, it could always be worse. National high temperature, as composed by the Weather Prediction Center from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 112, not as hot as it has been, but definitely steamy out toward Death Valley. Of course, not entirely steamy, probably about a humidity of about 2% out there at the best times into the desert area. For today, definitely want to think about maybe an iced cool down for your cough temp decks. News Channel 3 is exclusively exclusive and and tongue firmly in cheek coffee temperature recommendation on based on weather index from across the Mid-South, so if you have anything uh, going on for today, please remember to check your temperature of your coffee before you drink it, iced or cold. If you get a brain freeze or burn yourself, that's your business, not ours. So again, just taking a look around the area there where it comes to keeping yourself cool, hopefully. Track and field from the University of Mississippi. A lot of clouds, but not too much rainfall showing up at this time, but a nice view there. Some sunshine poking its way into downtown on the St. Jude K research camera. So quiet and maybe some more cloud cover expected there. Olive Branch, Mississippi from former Olive Branch Mayor Sam Reichard. Webcam showing a lot of clouds looking back toward the northwest around Olive Branch City Hall. Germantown from ex-Airbus driver's webcam. Love that backyard pool area or pond as the case may be. It looks like a nice relaxing area to sit down and enjoy some scenery. Maybe some nice sunrises and sunsets. No earthquakes directly in the Mid-South over the last 24 hours or so, so definitely good news there. There was a couple of earthquakes showing up just north of the area into around southeastern Missouri. Again, not a major concern for us in the Mid-South area, but if you live up around Dyersburg, the boot heel, you might have seen or felt something going on in that location. So if you did, please let the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis know a little bit more about what you felt by filling out the Did You Feel It report. A great opportunity for you to participate in what's called citizen science. Good opportunity to, again, help the seismologists out there and make certain they understand a little bit more about how earthquakes happen out there. Burn bans were still at a low fire danger out there thanks to the moisture content that we've seen over the last few weeks. We are pretty dry. We've not received any rainfall for the month of August, but as of right now, no burn bans have been listed for Arkansas and Mississippi. Again, Tennessee does not issue burn bans except under exceptional exceptional portions of time when it's like really dry and the potential for wildfires is great. If you need a burning permit, you need to call the Tennessee Department of Forestry and you can do that through the state website at tn.state.gov to find out more about that. Temperatures yesterday for a low temperature, 80 degrees in the morning, 95 the high temperature, well above normal for early to mid-August as we went through on temperatures. No rainfall yesterday, which means we are behind for the entire month. We spent almost half the month completely dry. We're probably going to be making up for a lot of that rainfall in the next couple of days as we see more chances of rainfall heading on through. Moon, not that you can see it, it is again out there, but with a lot of clouds, difficult to see it as a waxing gibbous 
two-thirds of full and will be rising this afternoon around 316, rising tomorrow afternoon around 408, but the cloud cover will probably take care of that. Sunrise this morning and sunset about the same period of time, just over 13 minutes, 30, 13 hours, 33 minutes and just under 13 hours 31 minutes for daylight time into today and tomorrow, respectively. The rest of the area today, chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on. We're not going to be seeing again huge chances at first, but better chances into the afternoon and evening. And temperatures today, highs back in the high 80s to around the lower 90s. By News Channel 3 at 10, fairly quiet temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. Heading into very early tomorrow morning, stray showers and thunderstorms possible across parts of the area. And low temperatures very much on the not cool side, mid to upper 70s or so. Lower 90s today with isolated showers and thunderstorms early and then more widespread scattered activity into the rest of the day. Shower and thunderstorm chances into Saturday as well, going up to about a 70% coverage chance and sticking around about a 60% coverage chance for Sunday with highs back in the mid-80s. Decently below normal for this time of the year. Not exactly a cool wave, but we will take what we can get. Numbers in the mid to upper 80s for next week. Fairly humid, fairly warm, not enough for any heat advisory, so good news from the National Weather Service on that and numbers back in the lower to mid 70s for low temperatures. Chances for showers and thunderstorms will be around the mid-south as we go into the next several days and that includes also right on into next weekend with temperatures back in the lower 70s for lows, mid to upper 80s for highs, so just a bit below normal for temperatures out across much of the area and unfortunately chances of rainfall remain in the mid-south over the course of the next several days. Into the tropics, we do have again not exactly a organized system going on, but we do have an area of low pressure working its way into and around portions of the uh, Texas, Louisiana area. And as we get into Ken, we'll be seeing that more chances for showers and thunderstorms down this direction, but spreading moisture northward, and that's going to be sticking around into the course of the next several days, just moving a lot of moisture in and around parts of the area. So this could help us along with that area of low pressure back to the west to make it a very soggy weekend out there. So if you're heading out for a movie tonight, take the umbrella with you. Very hot to start things off. Temperatures around the lower 90s for an early matinee. Late cinema potential back in the lower 80s out there. And if you're heading down to the Peabody to see the ducks, it is it's going to be pretty warm out there when things start off as the ducks head to the lobby and then from the lobby back upstairs to the duck palace temperatures will be back into the lower 90s or so so not exactly looking at very cool conditions for takeoff or landing for the ducks so dress cool if you're going to be heading to downtown memphis and taking a look down around the peabody hotel lobby nice air condition in there though and if you'd like to find out more about the air condition for the weekend and how much you're going to need tune into the east arkansas broadcast network throughout the rest of the weekend my complete forecast available on country night 2.5 and oldies 102.3 and this morning and all next week available on yahoo sports radio am 730 kqpn with memphis in the morning early on and then talk back live sports chat with bob and josh that'll be coming up right afterwards and that's monday through friday mornings on am 730 yahoo sports radio rest of the weekend again could be soggy conditions out there and the national weather service is watching for the potential of flash flooding so please keep it tuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that potential for showers and thunderstorms across much of the Mid-South. We continue again to see not much going on Friday morning, but later on that could be a potential problem. Daybreak starts at 6 a.m. Saturday and Sunday mornings. And stay tuned for throughout the rest of the weekend during our regular newscast. We'll keep you updated there. And, of course, don't forget WRHG.com slash weather, our complete forecast available there as well. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the, first, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition, Friday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll see you throughout the rest of the weekend.